Hello and welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I want to show you how you can use uh, geometry nodes with Blender Rigid Body um, Dynamics. So in this case, it's a chain setup. You might have seen this uh, somewhere else. Uh, basically, okay, it's a, just a simple chain like this. You can control the width and the height. Okay, this is I started with the quadrilateral curve, and I'm using like a fillet. And then there's uh, this curve circle. You can adjust the resolutions, and so it it makes this metal uh, chain instance. Currently, I also apply this rigid body dynamic. Um, I can remove it, and I simply reapply. And this guy is by default set to convex hull. Maybe in this case, we want to have mesh because we have something like a chain and this guy will be instanced on the curve or line or whatever that you set up here um, if you bring in the chain as instance it will actually bring in the rigid body dynamic that you link okay so i'll, I'll show you in a bit but for now we have like a this setup here you can have the chain as a circle or like a simple line or your own curve okay so there's a a bit of randomization that we can add so you can you can set up the curve and then it, it could also randomize a little bit like that and the chain is uh, really simple so there's a resample over here and there's another resample here the second one actually in relations to points so you can duplicate the chain instance properly on top of the curve and we are we are also using the curve tangent set up to this set to y directions so it's tangent correctly while it's instancing and then we have this rotates that's connected to index it's a very basic setup okay so you can you can have something like this once you're done um, for now let's for demonstration let's use the line first you can randomize this a little bit maybe just keep it straight for now more more or less so how to turn this into dynamic so this guy is already dynamic it's active okay it drops it, it drops with gravity how about this guy if we command a or if we F3 and then make real, you see this uh, object apply make instance real. If you do that, the instance will be like a real object. Okay. After you do that, it's a good idea to just move it into new collections. Call it RBD chain or something. So now it's uh, it's nice. It's separate from F separate from everything else we can hide everything else and we, we end up with this chain if we run okay it will explode why is that because they are currently already set to rigid body active which is nice but each one of them is still carrying the mesh if we select one of them and take a look they're all still like a not not apply they're all like the instance of the chain if we select all of them and then just right click and then convert to mesh so now they are like a proper mesh and they are also they have the rigid body setup if i turn one of them into passive and then play back you can see it it works right away so this is basically uh yeah the setup that i want to show you i think it's uh pretty useful for a lot of use case so let's say we we turn this into active how about this one passive this one is also passive you can drop it oh yeah sometimes for whatever reason uh i think you need uh, you need to make sensitive sensitivity margin smaller sometimes it uh, to prevent something like that to happen in this case, I don't know, maybe maybe they are overlapping too much. 
Yeah. Bit of adjustment. They shouldn't overlap at all. And I think that's something uh, we can set up with the geometry nodes. Basically, they, are, they shouldn't be overlapping. And they should be nicely arranged along the line, something like that. So we have this. This could be my thumbnail. But if you don't like this, you can just delete hierarchy, delete everything. Go back to the, the one we have before. So again, we have these options. Circle, maybe you want, you want to uh, trim the curve or what is set? Set cyclic. Set cyclic on and off. So this is circular, but it's now it's open. Um, let's get our curve. Okay, you can select this draw curve. Go to edit mode, and you can draw your own curve. Delete everything and draw. Should be more or less correct. So again, command A, make instance real. Now it's duplicated, right? Put it into new collections, give it a name. You can hide this guy. Oh, you, okay, it's, you need to be at the frame zero. Okay, it should fall improperly. But we can select all of them, right click, convert to mesh, select one of them, turn it into passive. And it should work properly if we actually, okay, there's a, like a broken one over there, maybe because it's overlapping. Okay bit of manual adjustment that one's fixed it's not also another broken one so the, the broken chains we can always fix okay doesn't like this boom okay magic uh, now it's magically connected everything is nice so let's turn this also to passive. Now we have chain. Okay. So I think yeah, that's a it's pretty simple and basic, but still uh, it's kind of nice to be able to do this. Just quickly arranging the chain instance into a line, and now we have this. Maybe you can, yeah, maybe have like a floor or something. Turn this to collection, or oh, actually turn this into rigid body passive. Let's put it there. Drop it. Crash. Now you can stop this, and then I think you can remove dynamic at some at this point. Select objects. Select all these objects and then rigid body remove. Oh, okay. Maybe not remove like a, but apply. Let's check our instance. Yeah, probably something like that. It's better. 
so we still have the original and you can just change the different curve draw a different curve and then just drop it Yo, you got the idea this is the original instance chain and you can still also make changes make it a further like feather chain or thinner so that's a just a basic example of rigid body dynamics that you can use together with uh, geometry nodes. Hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you.